LeBron in 28 and 16. So understand, this is what we have to do gather ourselves together. And we can't come together as Bloods, Crips, Vice Lords, GD, BD. We can't come together while we do that. Because when those people come together, what they do? They ready to shoot up Chicago. Chicago, y'all need to listen to this. Watch this. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. So God said the so-called black man today was going to be cursed in the city. Sister, how is we cursed in the city today? You got brothers that stand on corners, and then next thing you know, they ducking the bullet. You got people that stand here. Chicago is named after the, a, a country that's known for killing. How do you come somewhere and say Chirac? Read, read this, listen. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. So God said we was going to be cursed in the city. Have you ever heard a white man say, I made it out the suburbs? But what you hear black people say, I made it out the hood. I made it, I'm on. That's how we cursed in the city. Cause you know the places you live in, you can die. You know the places where you driving at, you get pulled over, it don't, a, a traffic stop for you can end up to being your last day breathing. Bring it up. That's how a traffic stop can go for the so-called black man. Right. Read it again. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. So another way we cursed in the city is look, we were, we so cursed in the city, I will sell drugs to you so you can get high and then I can give my family five, ten extra dollars. I will destroy your family so mine can prosper. That's not how we supposed to be eating. Teach. But you got to think about that. Why is the men today cursed in the city? Because they won't do what God told them to do. Yes. But the same brother that died and say, free T.O., free Big Homie, free Lil John and them. Why is it not no men saying, don't take your behind to jail? Don't do what's supposed to get you in there. Teach. You hear me? Wasn't nobody teaching me, hey, bro, you ain't got to hustle. You can go to school and not be a lame for doing that. You can get a degree and be smart, and then the people you hang around, they going to knock you. Why? Because of this right here. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Because they cursed in the city. Because they don't know who they are. We cursed in the city. And now let's take it back then. Back in the time when you was older, right? When you was cursed in the city. Didn't your grandparents, didn't they grow up and learn, you know what? We can't go to this school because it say no blacks allowed. We can't walk into here because they say sundown towns. If you get caught in this certain part of time, you will get uh, you will get killed just because you're a black man. You ever heard about being right at the uh, wrong place at the wrong time? That's what sundown, sundown towns was all about. Bring it up. Where our people would sit there and they would be in the wrong neighborhood, which is really white people. That's how you curse in the city. Because they don't even want you in the suburbs today. They hate that you live out there. Then you got redlining. Now read it again. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Now cursed in the city is the redlining to where they can legally discriminate against you and you don't get approved for certain loans. They are legally discriminated against you and now they got y'all all jammed in the hood in the ghetto while white people got neighbors. Bro, I went to the suburbs one time in the white people neighborhood, they got so much space. They got landfills between. They got a wave to their neighbors. You walk outside next door to your, to your so-called neighbor, and they ready to mug you. Teach. That's what we got to understand. We cursed in the city. Hosea 13 and 9. So old school, I see that you chilling in the car, right? Now, what's your nationality? That's what we got to learn. Because I talked to a brother named Donald earlier. He didn't know that he was an Israelite. He didn't know that he was God's chosen people. He didn't know that he was the son of God. He just called himself Donald. He think he's so-called black man. But it's something that we got to learn. Watch this. Hosea chapter 13 and verse 9. O Israel, thou hast destroyed thyself. God said, O Israel. When you hear Israel in the Bible, it's talking about you. It says, O Israel, thou shalt, thou hast what? Thou hast destroyed thyself. And you know how the so-called black man, the Israelite, destroy himself today? He do things that he know going to end up getting him five, ten years. He up. end up doing stuff that he know that's going to have him in Cook County pressing fire, talking about some accept the free collect call. That's how we destroyed ourselves. Now we destroy ourselves with Deuteronomy 28, 15. That's how we destroy ourselves by not keeping God's commandments. And he gave us a morning. Read on. But in me is thine help. So it says, in me is thy help. It says, in God's laws is your help. Right. Wait, did it say, did it say in Kamala Harris? But in me is thine help. Did it say uh, in me or in Black Lives Matter? But in me 
leave before you pull off. Your help is in God's laws because we see our people need help. We see it and we sitting here running up going to ballots. Hey, when you voted back in the day when y'all was voting, do Chicago look any different back than when you first voted? Bring it out! It don't look no different. But I, go ahead, read this. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 1. Bring it out. Woe to the rebellious children. So it says, woe to the rebellious children. The rebellious children is the brothers that keep selling drugs to other brothers that's killing their own people. That is a rebellious child. You got to understand, if you got kids and you tell your kids, look, stop doing this, stop doing that, but you keep doing it, God says this, what? Woe! God said destruction to you. That's what's coming for you brothers that keep wanting to sell, sell drugs to your own people. That's rebellion. But you will say, at that same mouth, you will bust a play down and be like, hey man, I got them four for 20. I got them two for 15. But then at that same mouth, you will say you love God. But you killing God's people. Think about that, read on. That take counsel, but not of me. So you take counsel, but not of God. And the counsel our brothers take is learning how to not do what God say do. So all the brothers out here that say they got counsel, the OGs out here is not leading the community in the path that it needs to go. Right. Y'all are leading yourselves into destruction. I know that I've been in here, I've been locked up, I did 510 on the yard. And now I'm finna tell you how to do the same exact thing. But our people wise to do evil. The only thing we know how to do is how not to get jammed up. Jeez. We smart enough to know how not to do this, but watch this. And that cover with a covering. Hey sister, you know what that covering talking about? Do you know that? I'm gonna read it. Okay, so she says she's gonna read it. Read on. But not of my spirit, huh? that they may add sin to sin. So our brothers cover themselves with lies, thinking that God is a white man. A lot of our people selling themselves, it said add sin unto sin. A lot of our people don't know what sin is. First, uh, first Andrews 8 and 24. We got to understand and learn what sin is. So, bro, you see yourself on this sign right here? While you looking at where you at on this sign, listen to this. Because a lot of our people, it said we add sin unto sin. So I was talking to the older, the elder man right here in the community, uh, in the car, and I was showing him that he is an Israelite according to the Bible. God don't call us niggas. The white man called you nigger. And that's how the one of the astonishment that came upon us. That's a curse. Watch this. First Esther chapter 8 and verse 24. Read out. And whosoever shall transgress the law of thy God. So transgressing the laws of God is sin. When you sin, you are breaking God's commandments. You are not following God's rules. Watch this. And whosoever shall transgress the law of thy God. So whosoever break God's laws, who don't follow his rules, read. And of the king shall be punished. Diligently. I said you're gonna be punished. Look at the community how we is punished. We gonna have you gonna have a punishment while you living and you're gonna get judged for everything that you do. You gotta think about that. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Cause this is where we're gonna start from the bottom. Look at these signs. Cause the older man, the uh what's your name again? Andrew. I can't hear you. Andrew. And Andrew. Andrew. Okay, so Drew, I can call you Drew. So Drew, look at these signs right here, what they did to us. You gotta really look at this. Somebody give me the, uh, the the sign right there with the curses on it. But look at this, this is what they was doing to us. And we gonna show you that this is your history and it's in the Bible. So if this history is in the Bible, this is not a book of religion. The white man forced us to learn Christianity, forced us to, the uh, Arabs forced us into slavery and to teach us to how to be, uh, to be Muslims. But God calls you an Israelite. Read this. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. So Moses is talking to the so-called black man today. He said, the Israelites, Andrew, you are an Israelite according to the Bible. Don't take my word for it. Just listen to the Bible. Watch this. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. He said, if we don't hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. Look at this sign too. Look, when we didn't listen to God, these are the things that happened to us. A lot of our people say, you know, you know, I don't eat pork, I'm a Muslim. The Arab, the Arab man forced you into slavery and put you and made you call yourself a Muslim. The white man put you in slavery and now you calling yourself a so-called Christian. A true Christian go do what God tell him to do. That's Read right. this. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments. So God said, if you didn't listen and do God's commandments, old school, look at this. God, these things happen to us because we didn't do God's commandments. A lot of our people say they so they are Muslim, but look what they did to us. 
The same way the white man was selling us in slavery, the Arabs were slaving us. Andrew, did you see this? So listen to this. It said we was going to go into slavery for breaking his laws. This is why. And to observe to do all his commandments. So because we didn't do all God's commandments, watch this. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses. All these what? All these curses. Is a curse good or bad? It's bad, right? So what you see on this side is curses. What you see right here on this side, these is the curses that came upon the Israelites. So God said curses are going to come upon us. Come look at the sign. Right, we was going to be a curse. Read on. And all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God said all these curses are going to come upon you and overtake you. Showing you that these curses was put on us because we didn't keep God's commandments. Now, we used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth